I chose Hell's Kitchen because I wanted to cook for Chef Ramsay. I think he's an amazing chef, very talented, for, you know, clearly successful. And I just uh, I wanted to sort of see what he's all about. I think I can be the winner of Hell's Kitchen because I feel like, uh, you know, chef nowadays is much more than just a cook. It's, you know, a little bit of everything and I feel like I'm pretty well-rounded. I feel like I'm talented. I definitely know my way around the kitchen, but I also feel like, you know, I'm good at talking and I'm sort of the whole picture. So that's why I wanted to do this. I think I could uh, be his next chef. Working for Gordon Ramsay, if I had to, I would say it's going to suck pretty, pretty bad. But I look forward to it and uh, it's going to make me work harder. And, uh, you know, I can't wait. My favorite food to cook or, or make is anything Asian. I like uh, the intricacies of the flavors. I like, I'm big into presentation. I'm into, you know, a lot of crazy combinations and textures and, you know, a lot of like weird stuff, liquid nitrogen and all different sort of textures. And I'm big into like making people sort of step back and say, wow. Uh, the strangest dish I've ever made uh, is probably, we do a lot of sort of funky flavors. We've made uh, popcorn ice cream and served it with edible packing peanuts. I mean, I think uh, the difference between a good cook and a great cook as far as ingredients go, so if I had to pick a secret ingredient, I think it would be salt. I think uh, it's sort of the difference between good and great is salt and pepper, you know, so a little goes a long way and it's, you know, I think it's sort of key.